Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. We continue to stream stories of business leadership and entrepreneurs. And you know, I always say you meet entrepreneurs in every size and shape. This is an entrepreneur I met most recently and uh, couldn't have been more impressed with the dedication to quality and hard work. I want to welcome Nino Trendafilov, uh, New Car Detailing. Welcome, Thank Nino. Thanks, Jeffrey. So, Nino, why don't you tell us about your adventure into entrepreneurship and why you're doing what you're doing and what you're doing? Well, since I was a kid, I always loved cars. And I I knew, like, so much about cars at a young age. And I always wanted to deal with cars. And I would always like, like, when I see a car wash or, like, a nice clean car, I was, like, getting excited. And I was always wanted to do stuff like that. And then some of my friends see how I, how nice and cute how nice and how nice I keep my cars and people are like why don't you do that for work because you do an amazing job and and people are like once they start doing it everybody loves it and people keep coming back and they, they tell other people it just works well for me and that's what I do in my days off I take great care of my cars and I do estimates and I meet with like a lot of car guys so I mean you know and anybody I've known that starts a business, I always talk about their willingness to dig in and get a job done. This is a car I took a picture of that you recently did. And yeah. uh, you were you you said you were hired to do a one day job and it took you three days to detail this job. So just to give us an example of this hypothetical car that you worked on, it's not hypothetical. Tell us what you did that took you three days. Yeah, yeah. The first day I did, did just the interior, I really concentrated on everything. I shampooed the doors, the carpets, I did the headliner, I dressed everything with the proper chemical. I got into the old little cracks, all the areas, the vents, I vacuumed the whole thing really nice. Then I I always like to do the interior first. Then I start getting to the door jams, I do the trunk, I open under the hood, I get everything as good as it can be. I do a really good thorough wash after I do, I can do like up to seven step exterior jobs. So there's a lot of stuff in the process. I mean, it can take a very long time. Depends how how nice you want to do it. I mean, I always do it really nice, but sometimes I go nuts. I mean, sometimes you can spend a long, long time. If you try to make the best you can, sometimes I just can't stop. I mean, there's always like more to do, but I'm really trying to, have everybody come back and I really try my best so my customers tell other people and so they know they work with the best detailer out there. So why, uh, you know, I can appreciate, you know, how unique it is for someone who's so dedicated to their craft. Perfectionists are hard to find nowadays. Yeah. Why cars? It, well, everybody in the family has been into cars pretty much and I always loved cars. That's what I like. I mean, I, that's what I that's what I feel like dealing with for, for my life, for the whole of my life. So and just it's, it's just that you love cars. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> any cars. Right, and I'm you know you know uh, do you have anybody who ever works with you, or do you do all the work yourself? No, I've always always done it myself since like 2014, and it it took me like two or three years to get busier. The beginning was pretty quiet. But then people heard about me and saw what I do, and I get to meet like a lot of car guys. And I work with shops, I work with re repair shops, with body shops, all kinds of people. And I have a great relationship with everyone. I'm really enjoying the whole deal, and it works out great for me. I it keeps me really busy. Honestly, I've been backed up since May. It's just a lot of work, and I feel like I'm in. Mean, Almost August, it just been work, work, but it's really good. I'm, I'm enjoying being that busy. And uh, how far is, the, how far will you work? What's your geography? Um, I, I usually do like April to November. And where will you go? How far will you go? Will you go? Uh, I know you work on Cape Cod, but how far do you go on Cape Cod? Will you go off Cape Cod too? Yeah. Yes, I would go up to an hour away, maybe. I just mostly do the Cape. I have some customers over the bridge too, but I mostly do Cape. 
like Yarmouth, Centerville, Osterville, Chatham, um, pretty much everywhere. But mostly like Hyannis and Yarmouth area in Chatham, Orleans. And Do you have plans to uh, expand the business, maybe hire staff one day? Yes, but the way I do it, I really need to find someone who's very, just like me, very particular and patient. You really need to be such a person. And I mean, I'm, there's other people like that, but it's really hard to find somebody just like me if I can. But I would like to expand the business here, yeah, and I would like to have my own shop. I do it mobile at the at the moment. I bring all my stuff to the customer's place. I just need access to power and water, and I just do the whole thing. And I spend like probably twice as much as most guys, but I that's why the outcome is like much better. I mean, I try to do the best I can every single time. Well, oh, that's 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 really admirable. Uh, are there special products that you need to use to do this type of work? Not really. I just tried all kinds of stuff over the years, and I know what works best for me. I'm willing to use the products, the products that the customers want. This is fine with me. I can do anything that customers want, and I can always ask them what kind of stuff they want me to use, like how they want car, if they can be more particular how they like it or if they have more concerns they can always tell me i can do all kinds of stuff i mean i can help them with all kinds of stuff so and you know if somebody's interested in using your services how do they find you i have a facebook and instagram page and also i have some of my business cards i have to make some extra business cards because people have been asking me for more and more but i i'm out of them now <laughs> but so, i'll make some more and i'll promote even more i have a lot of content the uh facebook page is under uh new car detailing yes same same kind of thing and the uh, instagram page is also new car detailing that's wonderful so it's easy to find and what about yeah. a phone number is there a phone number that people can use yes um and you want me to give you my number yes please yes it's a 774 268 well, Nino, I want to tell you, I appreciate uh, you being on Radio Entrepreneurs. I know you work very hard. You work seven days a week, and I've seen the results of your work. It's outstanding, and I have never seen anything that is comparable to what you do in your dedication. I hope you come back to Radio Entrepreneurs, and I look forward to seeing and hearing how well you're growing your business. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, that's just really nice of you, and I also really appreciate the whole the whole thing that you're doing for me. And You guys treat me awesome, and I'm always enjoying working for you. It works great for me, and and I'm very appreciative that you're trying to help me grow, and this is means a lot to me, seriously. Well, remind everybody, this is Radio Entrepreneurs, and we have no, uh, we have no discrimination against any entrepreneur. If you're an entrepreneur, we want to talk to you. This is Radio Entrepreneurs.